Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com. Hi and welcome back. This is Marcus Kova with Studio MMA and MMA Net, and we're here with Czech Congo, who's uh, not fighting. How is it to be able to go to UFC but not having to fight? It's a lot of pressure off your shoulders, correct? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, have you had a chance to tour Stockholm yet? No, not yet. So, um, hopefully, uh, I will be able to do that. You know, uh, uh, this afternoon after the win, or tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. S- you uh you you've been in here for a few days and now you've done some some signing and you've been to a couple of the stores yes what else have you been doing here uh what else uh i trained with uh some partners like uh, stephen truth and jack Shield, uh some people you know some uh and uh we did also some interview for uh, uh just to uh to explain how the mma is good you know for people you know especially especially uh for 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 kids you know and uh what else Many things to do, but uh, phew, it was so crazy, you know, I can't remember what I used to do. So the purpose for the UFC to bring you guys out here is to promote um, uh, to promote mixed martial arts, correct? Yes, it is. Um, so what are the type of questions that you, you are asked and, and what are the, wh- what is it like to go out? Mm, how it is? I don't know, you know, just... Uh, just imagine uh, somebody, uh, yeah, famous, you know, especially uh, about what he's, he's supposed to do, and uh, be, uh, uh, yeah, be attracted by people, you know, just to explain, uh, of, of course, yeah, why it is, what kind of feeling you, you have when you're fighting, um, uh, why do you fight, and why did you pick this for this sport, you know, and, and to try to be uh, a pro athlete, and uh, and. Everybody have a different st- have a different story. Uh, me, uh, myself, so Stephen Thruv, Jashid, everyone, and uh, we just have to uh, we just share, you know, some uh, some pieces of the of our life, and just uh, make them, you know, not really understand uh, uh, understand because uh, it's gonna be uh, I can say it's complicated because we have to uh, to get more time to explain what we're feeling about the sports, but uh, that's kind of you know. Now, um, sharing parts of your life. I'm not part of it because we worked at the na- same nightclub in Paris. Yeah. But uh, share with us, how did you get started in mixed martial arts and why did you pick the sport? Oh, I picked the sport because um, when I was young, so when, when I saw my cousin uh, doing uh, karate and I uh, got a lot of uh, poster in, in Bonaire in his room of, of uh, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. And some uh, Chaolin bones. I was, oh, what is that? And when I saw the first uh, video, oh, I want to try. I want to try. And uh, it initiated me uh, to the kendo first uh, during uh, three three years. To so karate? You no, know, kendo. Kendo? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah kendo. And, uh, and after that, you know, I started wrestling, wrestling with a uh, with pr- friend of mine in France. So... Uh, my old brother uh, was doing uh, judo. He was pretty good, and uh, I said, "Okay, I don't want to do uh, judo because uh, it looks like boring." But uh, <laughs> I, I prefer, I, I, yeah, I prefer something more active, you know, and and, and more. Uh, I can say that. Uh, um, with contact. Yeah, contact. You, you know, with the wrestling, you have more contact and uh, more energy, you know. And w- and when you don't say, "Okay, it was good for me," so that, that's why I. Uh, I picked the the wrestling, so it was a Greek Roman, right? And I was very uh, very happy with that. And after that, step by step, you know, I picked different sports like uh, boxing, uh, kickboxing, Thai boxing, and uh, self defense like a penchak silat and different sports. You, oh, really? Yeah. So you've done silat. So you're a true martial artist. Oh yeah. Now with a, with a guy like you. You start with 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 wrestling, and uh, you moved around between kickboxing and boxing. Was the original plan to become a mixed martial artist? Uh, yes, somewhere it is. But uh, when I was when I was kid, you know, I always loved uh, the the finishing on the ground. You know, that, that that's why I I picked the wrestling because even if I was doing the the boxing, kickboxing, and stuff on the side, um, I was still uh, focused on the wrestling. You know. It's and it's um, it's funny because you and Francis Carmont and 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 Cyril Diabat, you all know each other and and obviously these guys look up to you in many ways as well. Yeah. And uh, we asked you a couple of days ago, are you going to be in Cyril Diabat's corner? And you said, oh, I don't know. And we asked Cyril yesterday. And it's like, 
Huh, didn't even think about it. Have you spoken to Cyril? Will we see you in, in his corner on Saturday night? Yeah, so it's, for, for me, it was, a, it was a surprise and a big honor for me to uh, to be in his corner. So he asking me that uh, this morning. So you asked me this so, morning? Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to be uh, his corner. And uh, yeah, he's just... Uh, oh, I can say it's amazing, but uh, that's... Uh, yeah. That's it's something, a bit of an honor, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's uh, something really sweet, and uh, yeah, for me, that's an honor to uh, to be next to him and just try to uh, make him good uh, during his bout. So that's, yeah. I think we should take some of the credit for that because we did speak to you about that, and then we spoke to him. <laughs> and uh, you guys known each other for a while, but you don't train together. You, Cyril, and Francis Clermont don't train together. Yeah. Francis, obviously, being in, in Canada with TriStar, um, how how tight is the bond? Because we've been talking to the Swedish fighters, and they're, you know they're very very close. Yeah. How is it in France? It's not that many of you in in the UFC, especially. No, of course. So um, uh, about the guys, you know, practicing uh, MMA, you know, a lot of guys in France uh, doing that. But uh, the sport is not allowed, uh, you know, like uh, like an official sport. Right. So m many clubs uh, are open, you know, and, and uh, teach many uh, many class uh, for people. But uh, you know, uh, some guys have to be uh, have to go uh, out out of France uh, to keep going the the career of MMA, and uh, some of them just stop. But you know, um, I think we got the good. Um, the good spirit there because yeah because we just keep all the time the the same base and try to be better you know no matter what now you do most of your camp in france correct mm, or no. do you travel a lot yeah i'm travel a lot so uh, no, the, the, the the most uh camp I, i'm doing is gonna be in uh, in uk and united states where yeah. in the united states do you normally travel to uh, california anything mm. beach anything so, yeah so uh, around the uh, orange county so Kings MMA? No, with uh, the uh, Quinton Jackson uh, gyms. I got the Tiki's, uh, oh, the Ultimate, uh, yeah, Anything Beach uh, Ultimate Center. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I used to train there and uh, and now uh, a new gym to no, no, no work. Now, Cyril, for example, he's done his whole training camp in Paris, yeah. whereas Francis is obviously in, in Canada. And Cyril did mention that it's a little bit harder because, like you said, you don't have a big center where you can train yeah. jiu-jitsu, wrestling, boxing, kickboxing, conditioning. Yeah, sure. Of course, all the time you have to bring uh, some guys and uh, it's not easy for us. And especially about the level because when we want to get uh, something uh, pretty hard, you know. Is, uh, is pretty sensitive, so we, we should bring uh, somebody else or just uh, try to see if uh, on the neighborhood country uh, we, we, we can uh, get uh, something similar, you know, about the style we want to we want to work. But you know, we we just try. But uh, I think for the new generation, it's gonna be more easier for it because, uh, of course, us uh, pro athletes, you know, the the, the older one, <laughs> we we getting uh, retired not soon, but. Uh, for the next uh, few years, so we're gonna be there just uh, to give them and teach them the the right thing. Now, what's Czech Congo gonna do when that day when that day happens when you decide I do not want to continue my mixed martial art career? What do you plan to do? I don't know. <laughs> That's a question. Uh, maybe bullying people? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I have many plans. I have many plans in head and. Uh, I just try to uh, to make those things uh, uh, alive. So uh, I think, yeah, w when you are, when you're pro athlete, it's pretty difficult to uh, to see what you what you're gonna do because uh, you just want the best. So you have many things in the head, but uh, you have to pick the, the 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 right project. You know. Do you think you're gonna go back to the club where we work, to Chesterfield? You think oh you're gonna no! Go back there? no. <laughs> when, when I used to do that, I was student. You know, it was a good thing for me uh, just to see uh, many people and uh, enjoying the, the time at this at, at the same, you know, and uh, and get uh, a beer in the pocket, you know, for the weekend and say, okay, that's good. I yeah. see my friend. My friend wanna when I hang out. Okay, guys, no problem. You just come, you know, just ask for me, and I'm uh, gonna care about yeah about that. So yeah, no, it was a long time ago. When I when I said that I got the uh, I did I did that during uh, three years. What's next for you with the UFC? I don't know. Hopefully I'm gonna fight in uh, this summer. Uh, I don't have plan about uh, who and when exactly, but uh, hopefully it's gonna be this summer. So I just uh, keep training, you know, uh, staying in shape and uh, waiting. Who is gonna be? 
you know, for me right now, it's not a big deal. You know, I have to fight and uh, whatever, uh, what uh, people bring me to uh, for, for the deal. You heard here from Czech Congo, if you're at Globen on Saturday, or even if you're just watching on TV, you, you will see Czech Congo in Surreal Diabat's corner, in Globen, in here, right here in Stockholm. Thank you, Czech, for coming in. No, you're welcome. My pleasure. Programmet presenteras av betsave.com.